Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play, Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an E, what am I playing? An EIK WM France Deck G456 G8 game with Last 92, Kreuzberg BR2, and Field Watchman. Looking at this opening pack, I guess I have to read a couple G8 cards. So Swamp Farmer is the one where you so read. Lazy Student, round four on, as long as you have only one play dock. Whenever you use an accumulation space, you receive one additional good of the respective type. So that's not bad. Getting four wood on the three wood space is not bad. Uh, cabbage farmer. Whenever you harvest at least one veg, you may place a food on this card. You get four bonus points for four food on the card. Um, who made that card? Domba, your convention is backwards. It should be one, three, four bonus points for two, three, four food. Like, it, we always count from bottom to top. Uh, cabbage farmer is fine. Actually, Cabbage Farmer is a decent amount of work. Uh, there's House Steward here. I'm going to take Lazy Student. I think Lazy Student, uh, with knowing House Steward's in the game, I can just play Nur. Swamp Farmer is not bad with House Steward as well for getting lots of read. But Lazy Student is going to get me read as well. Is that I'm trying to bias towards occupations that I play in the late game? Cabbage Farmer. It's not based on the number of vegetables you harvest, though. It's based on... Wasn't it one food? Don't you have to harvest vegetables four times? Which seems like a lot of work. Like, harvesting four vegetables means you have to sow them in um, stage three. Right? Sowing vegetables in stage three is a decent amount of work. Oh man, Lighthouse Keeper, eh? That card seems pretty good. Not good with for House Steward though. Uh, Treasure Hunter, Employee of the Month. Rouse about, I should read this one. Have exactly two family members. You may build a room, build stables, play an improvement, fence or renovate. Save a resource of your choice. Okay. So yeah, Lighthouse Keeper plus Rouseabout seems like a combo. Um, I like Treasure Hunter here. Get a couple resources in, late in the game. Occupy a couple spaces. Employee of the Month is worse with... Um, Employees of the month is worse knowing that um, I'm going to try to avoid playing Ox for a while. Master Tanner, Ice Cutter. One food and one BR of your choice on up to three top farmyard spaces. You get the stuff. Okay. Uh, Guildmaster is okay. Sailboat Constructor is okay. Pioneer. Don't like Pioneer. So Lazy Student, does it activate on animals? Yeah, so Lazy Student activating on animals for Master Tanner seems okay. Like, um, I, I, I have to make space to hold the animals, but then I can take two boar, and they're actually three boar, and they trigger Master Tanner. So I think I like that. Guildmaster could be an okay option, but I like I like Master Tanner here. Although, hmm, if I'm going for the House Steward points, then do I think about something else here? Like Sailboat Constructor? Nah, I think Master Tanner looks pretty good here. Uh, Master Tanner Tenant, Follow-Up Tenant Farmer looks pretty good. I can only have one octa trigger, right? So that's why I'm saying I'd have to hold. I'd have to make space to hold the boar that I pick up. But yeah, tenant farmer is a pretty great master tanner card. So with tenant farmer, master tanner, I can grow like incredibly early. I could do a two room house. I could do a two room house game. 
So like if that light lighthouse card wheels, I could grow with Master Tanner and with the lighthouse card. But Chief's Daughter is a much better card. Chief's Daughter is a much better card. I'll take the Tenant Farmer here. Uh, not impressed by any of these uh, Herdsmen, I guess. But probably I'm not playing any of these cards. And this could be Pear Peeler. Over a Gardener. Sure. I think it's unlikely I play it either. Gardener is sometimes playable in round 13, but... Pear Peeler is okay too. Like, Gardener doesn't do anything unless I actually have it green already, so... If I play Pear Peeler, that at least helps me get the green vegetable. Oh, I need to go flip my... I meant to flip my laundry, like, in after the draft last game. I forgot about it. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I didn't wheel House Steward, but I also didn't wheel any of the small house cards. So what to make of that? I'm not sure. Um, Carpenter helps me if I see something like, um, oh, something that makes rooms cheaper. But Pioneer is also fun. The thing is, I'm probably not using Pioneer this game. It's like a card you really want to play in stage one. So it doesn't go with Lazy Student. I think I'll take Carpenter. There's a chance that I play Carpenter, maybe. Actually, you know what? I could take Child Care Worker. So Child Care Worker, the line would be something like accumulate a bunch of wood and read with Lazy Student and then play Child Care Worker. The problem is I need to eat the Master Tanner animals, which means I have to build a hearth. And if I'm building a hearth, then I should just feed with that rather than Child Care Worker. So I guess I'll take Carpenter here, but probably don't play any of the three. Ooh, bonus room. Hmm. Hmm. Wedding. Two family members, one building resource of each type, one sheep, one grain. Costs five food. Well, that gives you a lot of stuff. Um, haunted Woods. If there's food on this card when you use a wood accumulation space, remove one food, leave a wood, and return the person taking the action. So this is pay two food. This is pay two food and two wood for two extra actions. Two food and two wood for two actions. I mean, two food for a guest is is fine, but two wood for a guest is not really that good. If I was playing this, yeah, I guess there's no way to put extra food on the card, eh? Yeah, Haunted Woods doesn't seem all that strong. Um, I like White Kingdom so with my plan to f maybe fence early for Master Tanner. But Bonus Room seems interesting. Bonus Room seems quite interesting. The Planted Field is definitely the most difficult thing. But... Uh, if I could pick up a minor field, I think bonus room could be pretty good here. You have to wait till round four. Yeah, so maybe I spend the first three stages um, setting up my planted field. Wooden scaffolding, two wood, one reed, four arc prereq, so it probably has a pretty strong effect. Once during the game when you use build rooms, you may build three rooms at once by paying exactly nine resources of the respective type and two reed. No other discounts are allowed. So you're building three rooms for 11 wood and two reed. Uh, sorry, 11 wood and three reed. So you're saving four wood and three reed. I mean, it's good for the house steward player, but it also means that they're not building the first room. And it also means that you have to play four occupations in the early game. That's a good amount of work. Small holding, two stables, one clay, build one fence at no cost. For each stable holding at least one animal. Uh, if you build stables, I'm probably not building stables. Maybe though. Overgrown Pond's fine. Don't need to take Brickyard. Don't need to take Mountain Cave. Uh, I'm not that excited about any of these. Um, I guess Small Holding is a clay for a Build Fences action, but it requires two stables. So the question is, yeah, with Bonus Room, I want a Pasture. So if I'm building a Pasture, I'm not building stables. Yeah. So then Overgrown Pond provides wood. Although it has a 3-Oc prereq, and I 
kind of need to hard avoid the three Oc prereq cards here. I guess Mountain Cave is fine. It's not exciting, but it's it's fine. Yeah, all of these are pretty garbage. Gold medals may be okay. Mountain Cave costing a food is annoying. Yeah, I don't really want any of these. Nail basket's fine. One food and one cattle on the next five round spaces, starting with the food. So this is cattle drive is one wood for two cattle and three food. Uh, that seems pretty strong. Uh, spring festival, play this. Every player may immediately take a breeding phase of a harvest on their farmyard. Um, no. Well... Master Tanner, Tenant Farmer, maybe actually. Gold Incense and Myrrh, Food Clay, Building Resource, taking your first family growth action. Um, no, I don't. If you use, need the clay, maybe it's fine, but I'm going to want to take clay for my uh, hearth anyways, so I should just plan to get five clay. Crime Spree, minus one point. End of it. The work phase in which you play this card, you receive two food and an additional building race resource of each type taken from a space during the round. So, you know, two food makes up for the point, and then the card gives some stuff. Uh, it looks pretty bad. Negative points are generally very bad. So I guess Spring Festival. Cattle Drive looks better. Uh, Nail Basket is okay, actually. I could take Nail Basket here. Hmm. I could take Nail Basket. The problem is it's going to be, it requires taking stone and then it requires playing and it's a lot of work. I, I, I like Nail Basket, but. Yeah, a Spring Festival might be okay here. Crime Spree could be a lot. I mean, it could be four resources, right? I think you cap you cap out on one of each type. Isn't that right? Or did I miss something? I might have misread it. Harvest a grain field. You get a clay. Three grain fields. You get a reed. Nope. Cherry orchard. Ah, here we go. Here's a planted field. That is an easy planted field. Uh, lumber pile, no fleece factory, nope. This card is very expensive. Tommen's lunch, Tommen's lunch is good. You need a lot of grain though, and yeah, because you have to pay for it as well. Menagerie, four bonus points, fifteen fences, four sheep. Oh, okay. I probably have to take menagerie here. Four bonus points for one wood. Jeez. Holy, yeah. I have to take menagerie. So Haunted Woods gets me extra wood actions. Like, so what Haunted Woods does is it lets me bank my wood actions for once Lazy Student is in play. But of course it has a 3 arc prereq, so Lazy Student doesn't do anything in that case. Animal Feed looks like the pick here, having as a follow-up to Menagerie. Uh... I mean, if I'm gonna, if my bonus room field is a sown vegetable field, then pumpkin patch is okay. Um, I guess I'll take small holding. I'm still not sure if I'm building a wood room or not. I don't know the answer to that yet. I think the answer is no, and I'm setting up bonus room, trying to get breeding pairs of stuff. And I'm going to grow with Bonus Room and then Master Tanner, I think. So if I'm not building a room, then I'm not building stables. Then I'll take Pumpkin Patch.
Yeah, it, there's another card that's already called Menagerie in G4-5. Like, it's hard to imagine that one animal of each, or one extra resource of each type is worth a negative point that late in the game. Taken from a space during the round. Yes, so of each type. So that means you get one. One additional of each type. I'm pretty sure it's only one. Yeah, the of each type seems to indicate you can only get at most one. Cops is also a way for a planted field. But cops stinks. It's just too expensive for what it does. I'm going to want to put my wood into fencing. I don't want to wait until three harvests later when I actually gain wood from cops. load. Did that work? Awesome. That seemed to have worked. That is very helpful. Very helpful. Yeah, this hand could be a lot of nonsense. Like, I don't really have... So, Menagerie is my point ceiling, and having a high number... Like, if you... The thing about Menagerie, if you have 15 fences and all those animals, you're already scoring really hot. Like, you're already getting a great score. So, the thing this hand struggles with, maybe, is the getting the fields for animal feed. But otherwise... Yeah, this should be a pretty nice, uh, nice hand. I'll start with three wood here. Three wood, second action, plow. And then round two, take wood or clay, second action, um, grain. And sow the grain field for bonus room. Ice cutter. Nice cutter seems fine, but like I guess if you want three stone really early, sure, it's fine. The thing is, you have to, you pretty much have to plow, plow the top middle spot, and then uh, build the top left spot and build a stable on the top right spot. Right? That's basically what you're forced to do. So if you want to build a stable anyways and you want to plow early, then it's fine. Oh, crows took two clay for the fireplace. So Field Watchman wheels expensive lock here. Which is good. Oh, uh, I guess I'll plow. I don't really want expensive lock. I want to take uh, cheap lock. So Crows gets his uh, expensive awk here anyways, in spite of uh, taking two clay first. So he got his two moves just reversed. Now he's going to build the fireplace anyways. Okay. So probably three wood, two reed get taken. So I cheap awk, lazy student.
base cutter on the winter player board. I guess that's what that is. I never really look that closely at like the art on these different boards. I guess yeah, it's a snow like snow trees and snow on the trees and stuff. Uh, I get cheap Bach here, but there's three wood, so I'll take three wood. Wow, field watchman day labor first action. What? What? Is it educator for field watchman? Is it? Field Watchman could have um, guest room. So that's a first pick visiting Quarryman for last 92, right? Because I did not uh, pass it. All expensive Auk, lazy student here. It's not worth trying for cheap Auk. Um, I want, lazy student has to be in play before round four. So it's not worth risking it otherwise. Ooh, but if I get the first occupation next round. Receive one BR of each type, one sheep, one grain. Feeding phase of the next harvest. Each player may pay one food less to feed each family member. So I only need two food to feed. So that is good to be aware of. Yeah, I'll play lazy student here. Hey, welcome Lumen. Hope your game went well. I uh, was second in game number one. Mercator had a really fantastic uh, game, uh, he hit round five family growth and grew eight as well. So, uh, really, really crushed. This game I'm playing a last G8 and I'm going to try out lazy student. See, uh, what I can make this card do for me. Uh, so I'm going to keep taking wood. And then second action, take grain. And then I'm hoping to take wood and clay in four or food and wood and or food and clay in four i think so i have enough defense i want to know i want to be able to hold all my tenant farmer animals fencing 11 would be ideal but probably i'm just gonna fence nine i'm not sure actually Still need to take reed and clay as well for bonus room. Um, yeah, I'm not sure still. Maybe overcommitted to a horse. <laughs> Why ever Auk again when you could just get free animal pairs? That was my thinking. And then I saw Master Tanner, so I was pretty happy. Um, of course, I need to hold the animals before I play Master Tanner, so. But yeah, definitely the plan is accumulate a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Swamp farmer here. Grab a grain. I'm now competing with Field Watchman for so, by the way. I should have gotten my uh, grain. What did I do? What was my second action last round? Swamp farmer? That probably was supposed to be grain. So that I could have sown this round. Probably I took wood too many times before Lazy Student was out when those actions should have been getting my um, stuff in the ground. Yeah, I think my sequencing has been bad here because I should be doing all the non-accumulation stuff uh, when Lazy Student doesn't do anything.
I think I've uh, screwed up the sequencing here. Although if I had been doing that, I would have been giving huge wood piles to my opponents because I've been the only person taking wood, it feels like. Field Watchman Capitalist. Oh, he's going to be sad if I first move so. He says, let's do fields. Okay, so I have to get to f four fields minimum. I'm hoping for five. Let's make Field Watchman sad. I probably wheel the five clay action. Four clay, which is five clay with Lazy Student. The other thing this does is it might force crows to first action build. I think uh, Field Watchman, if he's going to wheel sow, is always um, uh, sowing his two read. And so then crows doesn't have to build here. But me blocking sow means Field Watchman can't swap farmer sow this round. So then crows might have to build here. Day labor again. Jeez. A ton of day labor actions. Four clay plus a clay. I think there's a chance I get the three read next round. So last plowed and put a bunch of stone on the top. So last might have the lighthouse card. That if you're in a stone room, you get to double two stone room. You get to double uh, or you get to family growth. You get an immediate family growth action, which is pretty nuts. What does my first arc do? Oh, sure. Can move my farm over a bit. Uh, basically, as long as it's my only occupation, I get one extra thing whenever I take an accumulation space. Oh, he took the read. Okay, um, that kind of stinks. So then I will take. I kind of want a fence to force crows to take the sheep here. I guess if I first move wood, second move fence, that probably still forces Chris to take the sheep. Because if he doesn't, I would be very happy to take the sheep myself. Because two sheep become three. Maybe Lass is doing something with uh, clay, a clay room, it looks like, possibly. Uh, Chris, no occupations played yet. Nobody played that Rouse, that two, if you're on a two room card. Nobody played that in stage one, which I'm a little surprised by. So I'm going to fence, uh, probably not 12, maybe fence uh, 11 here. Leave myself the option of uh, going back and covering two extra spaces. Although this is not enough for uh, three um, breeding pairs, unfortunately. I guess I could fence 13 bigger. Uh, there's not much of a difference there though. 
I could fence 14 really big, but I don't want to force myself to do another wood action before I play bonus room. So I think it's fine if I have two breeding pairs and not three. It's fine. Yeah, so Crows now has to take the sheep or start player for family growth. He can't do both, which means I can get the sheep here. And Lass is building the cooking hearse, so Lass is going to take the sheep. So Crows has to decide between the sheep and growing and protecting family growth. Crows is going to start player whale oil. All right, letting Lass get the sheep if they want it. If last doesn't take the sheep, I take four sheep with my first move next round. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, last takes the sheep. Family growth flips. So now the play is getting to grow with bonus room on time. So read stone food to get my read. Yeah, I need Reedstone food to get my read. I need to be planning to start player first action in seven. Maybe second action in seven, but start player in seven probably. And then feeding. So then this round is something like Reedstone food. So do I get a... So fishing's going to get taken by Cruz, right? So then it's a question of am I going to get traveling players... And if I, yeah, nobody's forcing Field Watchman to grow, which means he has time to take the traveling players. So I think I'm supposed to take fishing here. Fishing with an extra food on it. And then I take uh, Reedstone food or one sheep. Probably Reedstone food, and then I take two sheep with my first move next round. That become three. And then uh, I can start player second move with um, bonus room. Yeah, and now uh, Field Watchman basically has to build the BMW and so with his remaining actions, which means there's four wood available or six wood available next round potentially. See if last takes it or not. I think I'm taking the sheep no matter what. Game looks pretty hungry, so if I get the sheep here, it's taking a lot of food for everyone else. Okay. Food is not a good. You're right. Got an extra sheep here. Oh, I didn't lay out my fence as well for Treasure Farmer or Treasure Hunter. Oh, well, I still have five spots that I can use. I just have to be a bit more careful about my second uh, field placement. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. Just means I have to play Treasure Hunter before. If I, if I want to play Treasure Hunter, I have to play it before my second... Uh, field ideally mm -hmm. 
Seed four, harvest, breed. Last build of the well. Is this on Reno? Who's doing the Who's doing the lighthouse play? Is no one doing the lighthouse play? It must be last, right? It's got to be. Last designed that card so they could play it. Also, if nobody takes three wood, I get six wood because family growth is not pressured. did get taken hmm oh boar is here well i definitely would like to take boar next round i also will need major minor uh the clay is not bad for the clay oven that is also an option so i could take the clay here because it's a hearth and a clay oven yeah that's quite a lot And I've already fenced 11, so wood is not really that important anymore. I'm not building a wood room. Sorting out my feeding is a lot more important. Lass is going to reno with the lighthouse card with their second move. I would love to keep start player to get two boar next round. I would be a little vulnerable to not getting a major improvement action, but I probably could take Reed and Reno. So I'm not too worried about it. Field Watchman with the other cooking hearth. All right, so the three clay fireplace is quite important for me to build. Fortunately, no one has the clay for it right now. Play Menagerie here. There's nothing else for me to play. Yep, yeah, there's the Lighthouse Keeper, of course. Yeah, it probably doesn't need to give you the family growth. It probably can just allow you to family growth. It probably doesn't need to give you the family growth immediately. Because it's a card that only can be played by one player anyways. Because usually you can't have two players in the same game. Um go for the lighthouse setup. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you've grown. Doesn't specify that it's a family growth even without room, but... Alright, how risky do I want to play here? BMW's already built. Last could build the three clay fireplace. The boar are gone. So if I take wood here, my three actions are like wood, clay oven, or three clay fireplace, and maybe reedstone food. So then clay oven would be good enough in that case. Yeah, I probably just want to take six wood. 
I think it's worth the risk. Six wood is a very good action. And I'll try to get two boar next round. Crows took the sheep. Okay. Yeah, so reed stone food and then Reno's unblockable. Field watchman has field warden. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Good watchman, this is probably start player Swan Lake. I'm happy to go second next round. Ooh, Gelder. I wonder if Field Watchman will take the one boar again. Oh, not family growth. Reno Clay Oven. Take one, feed six, breed. Welcome, Yellinger. Hope you're doing well. We're playing a last G8 game. And I'm trying this lazy student card, which makes all my actions better. Almost all my actions better. A lot of my actions better. So I'm hoping to get two boar next round. I'm hoping that Field Watchman, although he does kind of need the food. Yeah, Field Watchman's going to take one boar again, I bet, just for the food. Although he did play Field Warden, so um, is he going to plow? I don't know. So we have Gold Medal and Capitalist, both names named for fields, right? I should double check that. Gold medal for fields, capitalist is also fields. Yeah, so probably first action plow is something I should consider doing. The problem is those two boar are just too good to pass up on. They're way too good to pass up on. Are two boar that much better than one boar, though? Hmm. I mean, let's see what Field Watchman passes me. I'm going to take the two boar. Two boar just seem really incredible. And then field if it's there. Although I have a feeling field is going to get taken. If I can get to four fields, I'm not getting the gold medal points. But at least I'm getting some capitalist points. And at least an animal feed is doing something. Yeah, Lass is going to first action plow the rest of the way. Oh well, at least field watchman's not going to. So I can start first action plowing. 
Yeah. I can start first action plowing myself. Uh, three clay fireplace here. Or I could read stone food and then reno fireplace. Um, if I don't reno here, I'm taking a vegetable. Taking a vegetable would be nice for a so bake action next round. But if I'm building the fireplace, I'm eating sheep next round. So I think read stone food and then reno three clay fireplace looks fine. I have some extra clay, which I was thinking about maybe building the pottery, but I don't have that many actions, so keeping my moves really action efficient seems nice. Yeah, my goal is to have two fields and do a sow action with two grain and a vegetable so I can bake a grain and sow a grain and a vegetable. But if I just sow two grain, that's okay as well. So I want to take uh, two cattle next round. How many sheep do I need for um, thing? Um, menagerie, which is on my table. It's six, is it six, five, four? It's four, five, four. Okay. So that's not that bad, actually. That's not that many sheep. And Master Tanner is number of rooms or number of family members? Number of rooms. Okay. Now, Chris is going to grow to five, but I could use Master Tanner to grow in 12 is probably a good idea. Probably I'm doing something like plow, grow, fam plow, master, tanner, family growth in 12. Oh, it says start player in here. That's annoying. Hey, Scrappy Kid. Reading with a party of four. Welcome. Yeah, I'm playing some Agricola. We're trying, uh, this is a Last 92 G8 collection, so Last has uh, designed a bunch of cards and we're kind of playing around with them. I have an occupation called Lazy Student, which uh, makes all my actions better, almost all my actions better. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, if you're trying to read it, the text of a card, you should be able to click on the card on the screen. So I know the card the card text is too small for anyone to actually read. So if you click on it, it brings up a cool window that uh, Mariska designed. Last first move. So, wow. Um, I guess Lass is worried about me baking here. I will definitely first move plow. Although I think Chris is probably... No, Chris is taking fishing. Okay, I'll first move plow. I don't mind doing that. And then, what, eat all my sheep and take a cattle? Or do I want a fence? I guess I could do something like plow, fence, cattle here. Yeah, plow, fence, cattle. Looks fine. And then I have my pair of cattle and my menagerie is assured. Because then I can just eat three sheep. And with and the harvest with three sheep, four boar, and then that's looking really good. But yeah, definitely first move plow whenever I can. Whenever I can. If I can get that fifth field, that's that fifth field is gonna be worth so many points.
Jeez, I keep doing it. You know what? I keep doing it by accident. It just gets caught between my um, leg and my chair. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not going mad. It's just me. Um, getting my thing caught between my leg and my chair annoyingly. Lip reading emoji. <laughs> All right, so last is fencing. Okay, so I can't even take the two cattle here. So I should double grow here then. Unless plow wheels. If plow wheels, I'll plow. But if plow is not back, it doesn't come back, I'm taking, um, I'm playing uh, Master Tanner. Oh, playing Master Tanner before getting the two cattle though is really painful because it might make the difference between men getting Menagerie and not. I mean, it looks like plow wheels because Field Watchman's not going to plow. So that's good. That's really good. Wow, Family Growth Wheel plow is incredible. So yeah, if I get to, if I get five fields and get the gold medal points, I have a hard time seeing myself losing. If I get the Max Capitalist and gold medal points, Last is going to start player Ox Goad. Okay. Hmm. Am I supposed to throw away my sheep to get the cattle here? To block Lass? Probably. Yeah. Lass, is, Lass has just said, hey, the plow space is now contested. So, yeah. I probably need to do something about that. Uh, I assume Lass is going to family growth next round. Cruz has passed on plow so every time he's had the chance to take it. Field Watchman does not need to first action plow so. So there's a chance I get plow so next round. So I'm going to try to leave myself that option. So I'll eat a boar here. Eat down to one sheep. Get plus a cattle. I guess I don't have to eat that many sheep. Yeah, I can keep uh, one more sheep have two fewer food. Just unplugged my headset, thought maybe my settings were weird. That happens sometimes. Yeah, I have uh, a lot of sound card issues. I think my motherboard is not, the sound card on it was not really, it's not really that good. I think the drivers for it are not that good. Because I have a ton of uh, sound card problems between iTunes and Steam games and plugging in and unplugging my headset and streaming. It's uh, it's always uh, an adventure. Chris has Animal Breeder. So is Chris going to forgo fields altogether? Or does he have something like March to get a couple fields after actually getting animals? The other thing is fencing is contested. Fencing is not... Uh, I'm not guaranteed to get fencing next round. And I need to get a fencing action that doesn't come with um, Reno. Like, yeah, I need a regular fencing action. So I might need to start player just to get a fencing action. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, because I need to fence another four to get the points from Menagerie. Because Menagerie does specify 15 fences, 15 built fences. So that's kind of my two mini goals. Get the rest of my fencing done and get five fields. I don't really care about anything beyond that. But I have eight more moves, so I should be able to pull it off. Oh, Chris's nail basket. Okay. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Oh, it's it's good. Nail basket is really good for Chris here. But uh, that means he's not going to regular fence. He's going to take wood stone and leave the, just leave the stone there. Take a wood and fence with it. That's awesome. That's really awesome. The one annoying thing, if I don't get family, if I don't uh, get
get fence here though is that I don't breed all my animals. That's the one annoying thing is that some of my animals will be unbred. I'll only be able to breed probably the boar and the cattle. I have to leave the sheep unbred. Actually, that means I would have to take a sheep to get the menagerie points in 14, which I don't necessarily want to do. Master Tanner's off the table. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's possible that I Master Tanner Family Growth Pumpkin Patch in 14 just because I have nothing to do at that point, like in case I have nothing to do. But it's going to be way more important for me to get the uh, the fields and the fences. Those are, those are top priority. And I don't do anything that jeopardizes those two things. Like if the if by my second move start player plow so bake are all gone fence are all gone then I'll master ten or grow because it's like I have nothing else to do but I'm gonna prioritize getting my really important actions over that so plow plow so fencing that sort of thing. Yeah, nail basket and animal breeder is a nice combo. The fact that he's not that Chris is not getting any of the global bonuses though is a big problem for him. The fact that there's uh, six global bonuses available that he's not getting any of that that cuts down your score a lot. Ah, boo! Field watchman plows here. So I'll plow. Just need one more. I just need last not to start player here. Last takes the cattle with the field. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, so if I can get start player back here, that would be great. Do I fence over start player? No, I start player to get the capitalist points. Definitely start player. Wait, I'm confused. How does Lass have three markers on Cabbage Farmer already? Uh, Capon Rooster. Each harvest place of food out in action space of your choice. Sure. Oh, Artist Garden. Artist Garden, of course. Alright, good. That's really good. Should pay my wood probably. So now there's a chance that my last two moves could be Auk Master Tanner Family Growth if So Baked does not get back. If So Baked does get back, I'll take So. Over Master Tanner. Great. 
Now I just want Cruz to pass me Plauso next round. And if he doesn't pass me Plauso, I get uh, regular Plow. Either way, I get my fifth field for the cap capitalist and gold medal points, which is huge. That's six extra points that Field Watchman's giving me. The fact that Cruz has not plowed at all has been huge for me. If Cruz does even one field action, then I, I'm screwed, right? There's no way that I can get to five fields. But with him not plowing at all, it's been really good for me. Really good for me. I've benefited from his kind of silliness. Um... Not much for me to do here. I think I just take two boar and eat them. Just for a little bit extra food. There's no auk that I want to play here. Nah. And then feed eight. Harvest these guys, breed, 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 and so then I can eat a boar next round. I do not want to eat my sheep or my cattle because of menagerie. So plow sow is great. If I don't get plow sow, plow into sow bake is good. And then, yeah, then maybe, maybe stables. I only have wood for one stable though. Plow so so bake after that. There's not much that I need next round. Stable for one. Family growth. Yeah, family growth. Yeah, the occupation quality in this game was pretty low for a last G8 collection. Like, Field Watchman's got some good cards, but my uh, my hand was not uh, really good. My hand was not really all that good, so. Lazy student it is. Master Tanner is pretty awkward right now. Yes, because it mean it means turning off um, uh, menagerie probably. Yeah, it would. I would have to take another cattle or boar action for Master Tanner to be playable. And even then, if I take the animals, I have to be careful about how I feed. So. We'll see what I get in for with my first move in 14. That makes a big difference. If I get plow so versus plow, that's a pretty big difference. Looks like Field Watchman's declaring that he's going to take plow so. Yeah, he's saying, well, if Cruz isn't going to block plow, then I better block plow from William. That's fine. I hope to wheel plow so, or I hope to wheel so big. So big comes with a bake, so I don't mind doing plow and so bake as my two actions. And like I said, I'm getting six points that Field Watchman wanted for himself only, so that's good. I also have more family members than Field Watchman. Field Watchman never got the fourth, uh, never got family growth, so. Oh, wait, what? Oh, actually on board. Oh, he changed his mind what he wanted to do. So I get Plowso. Awesome. Happy to take Plowso here. Giving myself four points from Capitalist and two points from Gold Medal. So now I want to wheel family growth. Of 
Chris is building the joinery shirt. So I'm lacking a little bit on improvement points, but my animal score is awesome. And my crop score is good. My crop and field score is really good. So I think I'm winning this game. I think. If I wheel family growth, I'm winning this game. Let's see what Field Watchman does. Yeah, I don't see how I lose with five family members. I'm eight points ahead of Field Watchman right now. He does have Gelder. Capsum and my miner cancel each other out. We have the same number of bonus points from capitalist and gold medal, so those are a wash. So it's just Gelder, really, is the difference between us. And I'm uh, still four points ahead after Gelder. Crows, I'm not worried about. He, his farm is too empty. And last, yeah, last is Chief's Daughter matters. Yeah, that's three points, plus four points from Cabbage Farmer. So now I'm playing against Lass and not Field Watchman. Because Field Watchman says 43 final, yeah. So it's me against Lass now. Now Lass has no points from Grain. So if I have an action that's worse than two points, I could take Grain to block it from Lass. Um, what else is Lass doing here? I'm not sure what else Lass is doing. You know what? Master Tanner is probably okay because of animal feed. Because I'm going to family growth it. Oh, no, never mind. What am I saying? I already I already got to my fifth family member. I don't. I have no idea what I was thinking there. Okay, so plow. Uh, so four wood and stables looks okay. I'm assuming that I don't have to worry about Cruz. Cruz is not going to build. Yeah, no. Cruz is going to fence again right to trigger um animal breeder so if i take four wood that's two that's a two point move and then i have stables for one point or i can plow for one point i can take grain to block it from last i can play animal feed for no real reason How hungry? Yeah, Lass is not hungry at all. Yes, yeah, so this is really me against Lass here. And Lass is just going to take grain for two points, so I'll take four wood here. Now, this could get. If Chris goes uh, and builds stables here. I could get screwed, but he can't build a room, so I think it's very unlikely he's building another room. Oh, I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. I need to feed. I didn't think about my feeding. Uh, I bet taking food might have been two points. Uh, it might have been more than two points. Uh, no, it's unlikely it was worth more than two points. Yeah, because I just eat two vegetables and a boar. Yeah, so it's two points. So taking three sheep, taking three sheep would have been two points, same as taking the four wood, except that the sheep could not have been blocked by build rooms. Yeah, that was silly of me. That was really silly. I didn't think about, I just turned off my brain thinking about feeding. Anyways, menagerie should be enough here. Eat 2v, 1 0, 3 food, feed 9. And breed. Breed. 4 point menagerie. Yeah. 
one point spring worker. So I have whatever I score plus 11. So I can calculate that right now. Oh, Crows has Mansion. I don't think it makes a difference, but yeah. Uh, 55 for me. Very good score. Now that is with six points kind of unearned, but hey, I put in the work. I first action plowed. Yeah, I think I'm beating last breeds no points. Last breeds a sheet point and then eight and four. It's going to be close between last and I. Last might be 54. Breeds a sheet point and then um, adds this is, yeah, this is 8 and then 6, 14. Yeah, I might have beat last by one point, it looks like. Yeah, 54 for last. It was close. Yeah, I mean, we both set up our feeding, which uh, did, did, was good for us. Yeah, I think Lighthouse Keeper is kind of annoying. But yeah, Cabbage Farmer plus Artist Garden was a great combo. And then Chief's Daughter. Of course, I passed uh, something good for Chief's Daughter. I don't remember what it was. Chief's Daughter would have been okay for me. Oh, plus wood. Oh, I did not take plus wood. Thank you. I forgot lazy student. Just do it, 56. Thanks, Yellinger. I forgot about that. Well, who needs to play cards to win? Not I. Not with Lazy Student. I mean, Menagerie, four points from one minor. That's, that's kind of gross. Oh, we need Field Watchman to end the game. Did Field Watchman leave? Get field watcher to come in the game. Might be gone. So 54 for last, 43, 49 for Cruz, 43 for Field Watchman, 56 for me. GG. Report. There we go. All right, guys. That is going to be all from me for today. I've got to get some errands done for the rest of the day. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Thanks to Scrappy Kid and Lumen for the raids. Appreciate that. Uh, I will be... I think I'm going to be streaming tomorrow and Saturday, maybe Sunday. I'm not sure exactly. But tomorrow and Saturday, maybe Sunday. Uh, Saturday or Sunday. I'll try to do one of the two. Uh, it'll probably be evening streams, so they might be a bit late on each day. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for the rest of the week. Um, awesome. Yeah, that cool. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. Oh, if you want to send me, um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is once I've done the script for this, um, stone house um this stone house strategy video that i'm writing up um i'll send it out to all the subscribers on twitch 
And so you guys will be able to respond um, and let me know if you think I'm missing anything, if you have any feedback or anything like that. You guys will kind of get first first preview and uh, and then I'll make that video and put it up on YouTube. So, all right guys, uh, we'll read someone in the board game category if you want to stick around. So uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye.